She's worried about an attack. When they come for us, we'll end it. The whole thing. At the start of 615, when Rick is with Michonne, he is very confident. He's feeling good. He feels like, okay, you know what? If something's going to happen, it may be bad. And even if people die, we will still come out of this. Carol's very conflicted. She believes at this point that having people who care about you that you care about makes you vulnerable. She's afraid that her choices may not be the right ones, and if you make the wrong ones in this world, it's not going to only kill you, it's going to kill the people you love, and she's unwilling to do that. Daryl can't stand the fact that Denise was murdered by somebody that he had come into contact with and didn't kill him when he should have. I think Daryl's so pissed off about the situation and so vengeful that, you know, it became personal. I think he's got to go do something. We need to get back there and figure this out from home. It's, it's going to go wrong out here. In that moment, Glenn bows to stop him because he's his brother. And we need Dwight alive. We need to know who we're dealing with. Glenn tries, and it affects him, and you can see it affect both of them. Yeah, he got to him, wasn't gonna stop him, though. Carol left once before. She was banished by Rick. She's basically made that decision. I'm done, I'm out of here, don't come after me. And then, of course, what does Rick do? He's gonna go after her. And, of course, Morgan goes with him. I think Carol's a survivor, and I think that her will to live and her lack of fear ultimately saved her when she was confronted with horrible odds. She's prepared to defend herself, but she doesn't want to. And it's that time over and over again when she's like, just let me go, just drive away. And of course, these guys, in pure stupidity, underestimate her. Don't please! She showed that she is a formidable force, even when she's emotionally fragile. You go. You're coming back. Yeah. But if I don't, don't come looking. I think of it as the Rick Morgan breakup scene because these are great friends, great men, who have done amazing things for each other, but they don't see eye to eye. Because the stakes are so high in this world, that's a really tough thing to get around. Throughout this episode, a lot is revealed to Rick that he doesn't know Carol, and he doesn't understand her emotional state, and also, really, who Morgan is. Hi, Daryl. 